This video shows how to remove and install an F100 steering wheel. First thing I did is turn the steering wheel back and forth just to make sure it's centered. Then I took a piece of painter's tape and put it across the steering wheel column. Took a sharpie and drew a line across it. I used this as a reference of the steering wheel position before I started. Then I split the piece of tape. Turn the center cap counterclockwise to remove. You'll need a ratchet set with an extension, half inch, three quarter inch, and 15 16 inch sockets. Using the 15 16 socket, you'll break loose the center nut. Remove the center nut. You need a steering wheel remover kit. The one that takes two bolts and a centerpiece like this. The three bolt puller set would not work for me on this steering wheel. This set can actually be borrowed from the parts store. So you'll take the centerpiece from the kit and the bolt and start running it through. After you get it through some, you'll take the alignment pin and you have to snap it down. Just make sure it's nice and flat. After figuring out what bolts you need from the set, you'll start running in the bottom one. Then you'll take the center section with the top bolt and get it started. After you get them started, you can run them in with the ratchet. Then it just run down the bolt until it touches the metal section. Just want to make sure that everything's lined up. With the three quarter inch socket, you'll run it in till the steering wheel pops loose. You usually know when it pops loose too. You'll see it. Remove the puller. Free to pull the steering wheel off. Remove the center spring. To install the steering wheel, you'll put back the center spring. The steering shaft actually has a bunch of splines, which makes it pretty adjustable. This is why I use the piece of tape as a marker. So then you'll line the steering wheel back up. Checking to see if you're close with the mark. Then you'll push the steering wheel in and replace the center nut. Double check before you run it down. Then tighten it up with the 15 16 socket. Here's a picture of the three alignment pins on the center cap. So you'll get those pins in, get it started, and turn the center cap clockwise to install it. See what it looks like. Remove the tape. Then take it out for a ride, see how it's lined up.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment.